Hi guys, Angie the Craft NATO here. Just a short little snippet before we get into this um, unbagging video. This is present day me uh, talking to you right now, uh, Friday, September 9th. But the unbagging you're about to see, I recorded two months ago, um, almost exactly two months ago. It was recorded back in the beginning of July. Um, I was going through some of my videos, kind of trying to clean up my uh, storage, and I ran across a few um, unbaggings that I had neglected to upload. And um, they, had, they were quite long videos, and I had quite a bit of stuff in those orders. And I figure, you know, you might still like to see them. So I am going to go ahead and put those videos out there. Um, I'll put the first one out today and I'll do one a day until I get them, until I get them um, uploaded. But I just wanted to let you know in advance that uh, anything that I talk about in the video that's, you know, time sensitive or, you know, time topical is probably not going to be, um, it's definitely not going to be uh, applicable anymore because it is no longer July. So just a little disclaimer there that anything you hear, you know, talking about what I'm doing or whatnot is not going to be up to date. Um, I'm also, because of the quantity of diamond paintings that are in these unboxings, I'm not in the time that has gone by since the order was placed. I'm not going to be able to go through and link every single item. However, if there is an item that you are interested in, if you want to just leave me a comment down in the comment section um, of what it is, I will do my best to go back and try to find that item and get you that link. Um, I will take the time to do that for you, but you know, with the it, it's just easier to do it that way rather than to spend hours trying to go through um and find the link to every single item. So for this few videos, it's just gonna be easier if I do it that way. So uh, thanks a lot and I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day and I hope you, uh, hope you like it. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I'm here today, and today is a little bit bittersweet. I have had so many orders recently. I think you guys have probably noticed I've had tons of unbaggings, lots of long, big orders, and this is the last of my um, big orders from budget-friendly sites that I have coming for a while. I don't have anything else on order right now. I've actually been sitting on this one for a few days, if you can believe that. Usually I'm too excited and I've got to get into everything right away. I've been sitting on this for a few days just because I didn't want it to be over. I didn't want it to end, so I saved it. And it's a rainy, stormy day here, so you might hear some weather outside. Um, and I thought I needed a little pick-me-up, so I wanted to get into this order and share it with you and show you some of the crafty, cool things that I ordered today. So today's order is from Fan Cells. Uh, so lots of budget-friendly um, kits and different crafts. I've got things other than diamond paintings in here, as always. So let's get to it, and I'm just going to reach in and pull out the first thing. And I thought that this was so interesting. I'm interested to see how it's going to work up. So let's get right into it. It is a embroidered... I know you probably you guys are probably getting sick of my embroidery and cross-stitching stuff, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. This is an embroidered mirror, so like a little hand makeup mirror, and um, you embroider the back of it. So let's take a look at it and see how we're going to work it up and then how we're going to attach it to the mirror because I'm, I'm interested, to, interested to know quite how that's going to work out. So this is the uh, pattern that shows you what the design is going to look like. It's just a bunch of flowers, some simple embroidery stitches. So you just have basically leaf stitch, long and short stitch, and outline stitch, and straight stitch, and 
some beading. You're going to do some beadings. I might not do the beads. I might do some French knots in the center of those flowers instead of the beads. We'll see. We'll see what they look like. Um, but that's what it's going to look like. And this is the mirror. Oh, it's quite nice. I'm impressed with this. It's actually really nice. It's a little metal. And I was thinking these might be fun for my granddaughters just for playing. This is the mirror. And it is, uh, it's really heavy. It's really nice and strong. And it's folding. So it folds in half for you know storage and then the handle folds up and then your embroidery is going to go on the back of here so um it looks we've got this domed piece of metal that's going to go in there and it looks like there's some glue in here yeah there's some um b6000 adhesive so you must glue your embroidery um onto here when it's finished and here is our floss. So just a very little bit of floss because it's a very little embroidery project. Um, but the colors are very pretty, like roses and pinks and greens and yellows. And the very small embroidery project itself. I'm going to have to see if I have a hoop small enough for this. I might have to actually order a really small hoop. I'm not sure if I have anything that's going to be small enough to use for this. I don't know what you would need. I think a six inch would be way too big for that. I don't know if they come in like a four inch, I'm thinking might be appropriate. I'll have to um, do some testing on that and see. I'm sure I can order something smaller. Um, it did not come with a hoop. A lot of times they do. I probably could not just order it. I could probably just go to a craft store and find it. So um, it also comes with a couple of needles and then the little teeny beads to use for the centers of the flowers. And like I said, I might, instead of using the beads, I might just do some French knots in the center of those flowers instead. We'll see. We'll see what I think or how difficult it is. I've never done any like beaded um, embroidery or beaded cross stitch. I do have some beaded cross stitch kits, but I have not worked on them yet. I should do one of those um, just to give it a try. So that's what that is. And I just thought that that would be something just different and cute to try. I'm just gonna slide that back in the bag so the mirror doesn't get scratched up. And it comes in this nice little cardboard envelope for storage so i'm just going to set that off to the oh it doesn't i'll tape it set that off to the side so i'll reach in and just grab the next thing and the next thing i have i know i told you guys i was done with cross stitch and i am i'm done buying cross stitch stuff i've got enough cross stitch now to last me as my grandma used to say a month of sundays which is a long time um, but I thought that this was really cute. I didn't have anything like this. I've never done anything like this. It is a cross-stitched bookmark with ladybugs and daisies, and I thought it was so cute. I love ladybugs, and my daughter Emily, um, is a reader. She, I don't know how much she gets to read anymore with having the two girls, but, uh, she, when she was a kid, her nickname was Bug, so I was thinking this would be really cute for her. So let's take a look at it and see what it is going to be. Uh-oh, I didn't look very carefully when I ordered this, and it's actually two uh, bookmarks that you can complete. So that's nice that they gave you two pieces of Ada, and I'm thinking that this is like probably 14 count. Um, the, uh, the squares look a little bit on the small side, so I think that's probably 14 count Ada. Um, and a couple of needles. Those are teeny little needles. I might use my own needle. I don't know what this is. It looks like a pen almost. I'm almost scared to take it, take that off. I don't, I don't know what that, oh, it is a pen. It's ink. Oh, is it for drawing onto the canvas? That's what I noticed is that it's not a pre-printed canvas. So these are just blank pieces of Ada and um, you must have to draw your pattern on there and it comes with the tassel and here are your colors of floss on this nice organizer 10 different colors of floss so that's nice and hopefully they've given me some sort of a pattern to go by at least 
Yes. So this is going to be, you know, this might be a nice thing for me. Um, yes, it is 14 count cloth because um, you use two strands and it is going to be a counted little kit. So this is going to be counted cross stitch. I've never done counted cross stitch. I'm scared of counted cross stitch. But this, being that it's so small, might be a nice little segue for me into the world of counted cross stitch. And it'll be, you know, a challenge for sure just because I've never done it. But maybe that'll be a good way and maybe I'll find out that I like it, although I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. I like... I like to have straightforward instructions. I like to have things just planned right out for me and shown right to me. Uh, I really love stamped cross stitch. But maybe someday if I'm feeling spunky, I will, I'll give it a try. I mean, hopefully I will give it a try. Um, I wish it was stamped, but it's not my fault. I probably didn't read the description well enough. But that's that. All right, the next thing we have is something I'm really excited about, and I've got kind of a funny story to go with this. My granddaughter, Marie, has had, let me rephrase that, she had the longest hair. She is about to turn four years old, and she's never had a haircut. Her hair goes down to the top of her butt. It is so long. Well, she started this thing a while back. She will not let anyone brush her hair. She ended up with her hair being so snarled and so matted that my daughter had to take her this past weekend and had to get all of her hair cut off. Her hair is now shoulder length. So I had seen these in uh, on the fan cells site and I thought that it was so adorable and I thought maybe if she had something fun that she had made because you know my granddaughter Marie does like to diamond paint with me that maybe she would be more amenable to having her hair brushed or brushing her hair herself. So this is a hairbrush that you diamond paint. So it has this adorable little owl on the back of it and you diamond paint that and then you put the you know the brush part in like so, <laughs> if I can figure it out. I probably don't want to figure it out right now because I don't want it in there well. Yeah, it'll slide right in there, slides right into the grooves. And then she's got a little hairbrush that she made herself and maybe then she'll brush her hair. So um, the drills are, these are special drills. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is so froggy all of a sudden. I don't understand why, it wasn't like that before. So we've got special drills, and let's see what drills we have. We've got some um, round-topped blue iridescent, some purple crystals, some round-topped white iridescent, some blue crystals, some red, some light blue, some light lavender slivers. I love those little slivers. Some iridescent teardrop and some blue heart shaped. So that guy is going to be so cute. There's quite a few different drill shapes just in that cute little hairbrush. So I thought that this would be something I love to try to find fun little projects um, that are diamond paintings that are not just diamond paintings. I'm loving all the little special projects that I've been doing, the wreaths and the um, the window hangers, the sun catchers, and um, what else have I been doing? The bags and the aprons, and all that fun stuff that I've been uh, doing lately is a nice little break uh, when you're diamond painting. It's a nice little break from doing big paintings, and I really, really enjoy um, doing those fun little things. So I'm excited to do that for her and hopefully that's something that she will um, she will enjoy and like brushing her hair. And so you know if I got one brush for one granddaughter, I had to get another one for the other granddaughter. Now poor Lila, that is my two-year-old granddaughter, she doesn't have much hair. She's never had much hair. Um, and it's just not very long and it's very fine and very thin. So we don't have a problem with her brushing her hair. 
But if I got one for one, I had to get one for another. So this is the other one that I got, and I love this one. It's an adorable seahorse. Very, very cute. So I'm going to work these up tonight. This will be my little project for tonight. Um, I have to go over to their house tomorrow uh, to get... They had borrowed some air mattresses for camping from us. And Nate and I are going to need those air mattresses. We're going down to Maddie's this week uh, to stay and take care of their cats while they go to Florida. And uh, so I've got to go over there and pick up the air mattresses. So if I work these up tonight, I'll be able to take them over there tomorrow and give them to them. So let's take a look at the drills that come with this one because they are different. So we have some dark blue iridescent round topped, light blue iridescent coated round topped, some teal crystals, some more of those lavender slivers. We have some clear marquee cut. Then we have some round top white pearly globes, um, some clear crystals that are larger, some gold stars. I love the star shaped. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite of all the special drills. And the, I was calling them buttons. I thought they looked like buttons. But one of my subscribers made a comment that she calls them starbursts. I think that's what she said, starbursts or snowflakes. And that's a much better uh, description. They are very snowflake-like. So I'm going to steal that. I'm not stealing it because I'm giving her credit. <laughs> and um, that's what I'll try to call them from now on if I can think of it. Snowflakes. I like that. So those are the two hairbrushes that I got for the girls. And they're going to be so cute. And I know they're going to love them. So I guess I won't let Marie help me do do them. I'll, I'll do them myself. But she'll still like it. Might not, I'm going I'm to have to get right on this and get them worked up because um, being that they're going to be on the hairbrush and it's going to be something that you're going to use on a regular basis, I'm going to want to seal that, the back of those, um, with some. I just bought some, I, I had done a video, you guys haven't seen it yet, where I compared some um, different sealers and I still haven't found a sealer that I'm really, really um, wild about. So I had purchased a new one. So far, what I've tried is uh, Mod Podge High Gloss. And then I also tried a Krylon Spray-On uh, Clear Coat Sealer. And I found on Amazon, I had seen a lot of people um, that liked the Tombow Aqua Glue. So, but it only comes in a very small container. So I found this on Amazon. It's a large container, 500 milliliter refill of the Tombow Aqua Glue. So I'm going to give this a try and that will give me a good thing to try that on because I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. So I'll let you guys know how that turns out. All right, moving on to our first canvas. This is, oh, I'm excited about this one. This is a really nice feeling fabric-y canvas. Um, it's going to flatten out really well. And this is one of those bubble paintings. So it's a special drill and it's a uh, part, it's technically a partial, but because the drills are going to be so close together, it ends up looking like a full drill. So you can see that um, even though there are some spaces between the drills, it's not like a normal partial where you have a lot of spaces between the drills. The drills are going to be different sizes of crystals that are all going to come together um, to make this, and it gives it kind of that bubbly effect. I've seen a lot of these in, you know, like more childish looking diamond paintings, like they have a lot with different animals. Um, and they're the kind that some of them come like with a pre-made frame and they're really nice and very cute, but they're, you know, kind of just for children. So I saw this one and I have a few others that I've unboxed before. This one is a 30 by 30 and it has 12 different drill pipes and it comes just with a standard toolkit. If it with tweezers. If they come with anything more than a standard toolkit, I'll tell you. But otherwise, just know that everything is going to come with a standard toolkit. So it'll have everything that you need if you've never diamond painted before. Everything you need to get started. So let's take a look at the drills that are going to go in this. This is so cute. I love it with just the butterflies and flowers and the bright sunshine. So the drills look really nice in this. They're nice and... Um, shiny and there's no dust in the bags and the 
flashing on the back looks good. I'm not seeing any junk in there. So these drills look really good. So we have standard size clear crystals, some yellow, some red, some bright cobalt blue, some Kelly green, more red. Is that the same color red? Nope, it's a little bit deeper of a red. Some blue, some purple. I'm wrong about this. This isn't technically a bubble plate painting. Well, because the bubble ones, they tend to have all different sizes of crystals. Like you'll have some small ones, some medium, and some large. These are all standard sized crystals. So this is just a regular special drill kit um, that just has all crystals. So then we have purple, orange, light blue, more purple. And then we do have this one pink that um, are a little bit larger size. But other than that pink, everything is the same size. So this isn't going to be, you know, the traditional bubble painting in the sense that I was thinking about it. But that's okay. It's still awfully cute and I still really like it. And I still think it's going to be really pretty when it's finished because it's going to have, like I said, the majority of the diamond painting is going to be drilled rather than having a lot of background showing like on most partials. So this is what I'm going to work out fairly fairly quickly. I might take this one as something fun and little to work on while we're down at Maddie's because I don't want to take a big project down there. Um, it's just difficult to work on it when you're not in your own space. You know, don't have my, my big bright light set up. It's kind of hard to work on the big diamond paintings, for me anyway. So that might just be something fun and little to take. So let's move on to the next one and see what we have. This one is a little bit stiffer of a canvas. And this one I bought, I got, I ordered this one for Maddie. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slide the drills out. I'm gonna roll it backwards real quick, just so you can, it'll lie a little bit flat. Try to get the fold marks from shipping. You know, those, they come so flat in those, in those um, mailers, those bubble mailers. Sometimes you even have to pull the cover back because it's, it won't let you roll it backwards because the um, bubble or the uh, cover is stuck too tightly. So sometimes you got to pull that back and give it a little extra room. But this one is a full drill canvas. It has 26 colors. It's a 30 by 40. It's round drills. And if I could get it to lie flat, I could show you guys what the heck it is. And it just comes with a standard tool kit. And that's what it is. It's this gorgeous guy, gorgeous guy, cute guy sitting on the potty golfing. <laughs> Isn't that cute? He's a little frog sitting on the toilet. I love it. He's got his uh, toilet papers flying off into the, into the breeze there. And he's just sitting on the toilet shooting his hitting his little golf putting his little golf ball into his hole and I think it's adorable um it's a little bit busy of an image for how small it is uh and it is pixel printed so it's not printed in the new um way with the picture with the drill field superimposed on top so it is just made a picture made up of the pixels themselves so it might not have a lot of definition when it's finished, but I think in the camera, it, up close, it doesn't look that great, but in the camera, it looks just fine. So I think it's gonna turn out just fine. And I got this with Maddie in mind because she is a frog lover. So let's take a look at these drills and they look really good. Um, there's DMC codes on the canvas, but not on the drills, so that's fine. 26 colors and we have all letters and numbers for the for the key so I'm very happy when I see that and we're just going to have lots of beiges and browns and greens I'm afraid is going to be uh, the color palette that are that is in this but the drills look really nice I'm very happy with the drills in this no dust or debris at all so lots of browns, a little bit of red. Now we're getting into some green shades, some beige, some gray, some tans, more green, like a lime green, brick, brown, mustard, more tan, real dark brown. 
uh, green brown, light pale green, and white and gray. And those are the colors of the frog on the toilet. Some people might find that tasteless. It is a little bit tasteless, but I never claimed I never claimed that I had, was a high class broad. So if you think that's what you're getting here, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Who doesn't need a frog on a toilet for a diamond painting, right? Right. All right, let me slide these rows back in and we'll get him put away and move on to the next one. I think he's so cute. Our bathroom, our guest bathroom is done in like a sage green. And just the colors that I've seen in this, this might go up in the guest bathroom behind the door. So you don't really see it until you, you know, close the door and sit down. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. It's not really the decorating style. I mean, who has, you know, pooping frogs as their decorating style. But why not? Why not for a laugh, even if I didn't leave it there permanently? You know, I've learned in life as I've gotten older not to take myself or anything else quite as seriously as I used to. And I'm so much happier now that I don't worry so much about little things. So this is, uh, next one is a partial special drill mandala style. And it is a 30 by 30 and it's a nice, nice fabric-y, not fabric -y, but it's a nice uh, pliable canvas. So it's going to relax for you really well. And it's a pretty simple image where as far as there's not many drills that are going to go on it. So you're going to have a lot of blank background space. You can see behind that big blue flower in the center as you'd, all that blue is going to show, all that red is going to show. Um, there's actually very little that's going to get diamond painted on this, which I'm fine with that sometimes. I think sometimes the backgrounds are pretty enough that just having the diamonds that accentuate the image are is good enough. And what I do with most of these 30 by 30s is they go in my scrapbook and I browse through it from time to not time and you know my daughter will come over and look through it just to see what I've done and she was over this weekend and she actually found one in there that she um, had me take out and mat and frame and take home for her. She liked it so much. So you know they do get they do get they do come out of the book from time to time. So we have a whole bunch of these uh, light blue crystals. Then we have clear and red, yellow, and then we have just regular black resin drills. And then we have some of the red uh, slivers. Then we have some oval faceted blue, some teardrop faceted gold, a lot of these really small gold slivers and some gold buttons. So it seems like they gave you an awful lot of drills. Oops, and it looks like I dropped one on the floor. It was in a separate baggie. Oh, yep. This is, the, I'm glad I found that. It's the big one that goes in the center of the flower. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's not going to be a whole lot to diamond paint, but this might even be a good one if you know somebody that, you know, you want to get started into diamond painting. Um, this might be a good one just to introduce them to it and see if they like it because it would be something that they could work up fairly quickly and they would see some immediate results. So I'm reaching in here and I've got, I'm feeling something that is a little bit different. So now we're going to get into a little bit, another of a special thing. So let's see what we've got in here. And I think that this is one of those plastic wreaths. Feels like it anyway. And I think I only ordered one in this order. So that must be what it is. And it is. And it's not broken, which makes me very, very happy. I was hoping it wouldn't come cracked. But it's Minnie and Daisy duck at the beach in their bathing suits. Isn't that adorable? My granddaughters are super, super, super into Mickey and Minnie and, and Disney characters. So I thought that that was just adorable. And it's just, it's a plastic, just white. So it's only one-sided. Um, 
and you just drill this, so you just drill the one side, which is fine. And let's take a look at standard toolkit. We'll take a look at the drills that come with it. They are special drills, so that's good. I'm glad, I, I was hoping they'd be special drills and not just plain resin drills, just because, I don't know, it'll look cuter. Very cute. So we've got clear crystals, purple, black, pink, light pink, yellow, green, a little bit bigger yellow. Uh-oh, and then we've got an empty bag. Oh, but I see it over here to the side. Okay. And some um, oval-shaped yellow big, big, big guys. And then off to the side here, we've got a few gold stars. You get a gold star. So that is what that one is. And that's obviously is for Marie and Lila. I thought it'd be cute on their bedroom door or on their bedroom wall or, you know, someplace in their bedroom. So I might try to work that up real quick to take over to them for a little gift when I go over there tomorrow too. I can probably get those two hairbrushes and this done tonight. I think without a problem I could do that. So I'm going to set that off to the side so I can do it. And then I'm reaching in here and I'm grabbing another thing. Um, this is another of those foldable mirrors that you um, embroider. So I don't think that we have to take this all out because it's going to be exactly like that first kit that we looked at. Um, it, with the exception of it's a different design. So this one, focus camera, focus. Sorry about that. This one is just a bunch of daisies in a bouquet. And I actually like this one better. I think this one's really cute. So that's going to be really fun to do. I really wish I had a small enough hoop because I'd like to work on that right away too. All right, let's reach in and get the next thing and see what we've got. And the next thing is something I ordered for my mother-in-law. And she had mentioned, um, when she saw mine, she had mentioned that she liked this. So I thought I would get one for her to do. And it is a notebook, a diamond painted notebook with a mandala design on the front. This one is a little bit different than the ones, ooh, I like it. This one is set up like a planner. So up in the top, you have, um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the date, and you can put the memo number, and it's set up a little bit like a planner, and it's lined, The uh, and it's spiral bound. A lot of the other ones that I have are more like leather wrapped. They're not spiral bound like this, and I have some that are lined, but predominantly the ones I've gotten are lined or are unlined and I like the lined version better. So I thought that she might enjoy, she really likes doing the special drill canvases and I thought that she might enjoy um, doing something like this. So this toolkit does come with some baggies. She doesn't need it. I've given her everything she needs for diamond painting. So, but you know what? One thing about this one is it is not at least not what I'm seeing so far. It's looking like we these are regular drills. Might have a mix. Yep, it looks like we have a mix. So we've got, you know, these are my colors though. You know, you guys know I love orange. So we've got yellow, orange, and then we have some white ABs. So those are those iridescent coated drills. Purple, more orange. Then we've got these marquee cut, uh, iridescent coated. We have some gold slivers, some purple slivers, some orange teardropped iridescent, some orange globe topped iridescent, some white pearls, some clear uh, round iridescent faceted, some purple round iridescent faceted, some big purple globes, and then some purple round topped teardropped iridescent coated. Boy, that was a mouthful. But that's gonna turn out looking really pretty. I kinda wish I hadn't ordered it for her because I really like it. I love the colors, they're definitely my colors. But I had ordered it with the intention of giving it to her to do. And so that is what I'm going to do. And I think that she'll really enjoy it. I think she'll like the finished product as well. 
um, because she does keep notebooks around for, you know, just taking notes and keeping track of phone numbers and, and um, planning and stuff like that. So that is for my mother-in-law. But I really like that one. I might order another, I might find this order and I might order another one of these because I really do like the way it, um, the way it's laid out. It's a little bit different than any of the other notebooks I've gotten and I really do like it. So I'm gonna reach in and pull out another special project. I've been into special projects lately, you guys. I just think they're fun to give you a little bit something different to do. So I unboxed uh, one like this from another company last week or two weeks ago. I don't remember. It was a while ago. And this one, the toolkit, does come with a rope for hanging this because it is a wooden sign that is diamond painted. And it says, yes, I really do need all these cats. And you can guess who that's for. It is for Maddie. And I think that she's going to absolutely love it. I thought it'd be so cute for her to hang on her door. She's the crazy cat lady. So um, it just comes with regular drills. And I'm not going to open them up because we can see them through the pack. We just have browns, beiges, greens, orange, dark green, a little bit of mauve. So it's a very simple um, design. And I think that the words are going to be easily readable because of the way that they were uh, charted on here. Everything is the same DMC code in all of the letters. So I think that that's going to make it so it's definitely easy to read once you do have your drills on. And they're thick enough letters, too, that it's going to be easily readable. So that is for Maddie, and maybe I can get this done before I go down there later on this week, and I can give it to her for a little present. Or should I let her do it herself? No, I'm going to do it for her. She's, um, she has good intentions, but she's busy, you know, she works, so she doesn't always have as much time to diamond paint, and she's working on a couple of really large canvases right now. She's doing Christmas in Town Square for Christmas in July. Um, event and then she's also working on one of her new craftably kits I think she's doing magic happen no hide and seek which is I believe a Sarah Burrier kit um, it's a really pretty kit if you haven't seen that one you should check out craftably site um, it's really cute it has like a little uh, pixie uh, or fairy sitting on a mushroom very very cute oh and this I didn't, rem I didn't remember that I got both of these, but I'm glad I did because I thought that this was this. I thought that that other one was this one, actually, when I opened it. I had forgotten that I had gotten both frogs. I had gotten the boy frog and the girl frog. There are multiple, multiple frogs on toilets on the fan cell site. And on, I think on GBFKE, they also have a lot of frogs on toilets. This one has 27 colors. It's a full round kit. And it has only letters and numbers for the legend. And the DMC codes are on the canvas. And you have your legend on both sides. And this one is an uh, adorable little frog in an evening dress. Um, kicking off her underwear, sitting on the toilet with the toilet paper flying off the back of the toilet. And I just think it's so cute. I know it's probably tasteless, but I just, I don't know, something about them make, seems so cute to me. Maybe I'll do the boy and the girl because my husband golfs. Maybe I'll do the boy and the girl and they'll go in our bathroom because then nobody would see them. Put them behind the door in our bathroom. Jeff would love that, right? He indulges me a lot in my diamond paintings, but I don't know. I don't know if he'd go for having uh, frogs on toilets in our master bath. I'm not sure that I can see him appreciating the humor in that. I don't know. He might catch him on a good day. Or I'll just do it while he's gone and he'll never be the wiser until it's there, right? And then what are you going to do about it once it's already there? So the drills that come with this also look really nice. Um, I'm happy with them because, you know, I've gotten a couple orders late, lately from some budget-friendly sites and I have not been all that wild about the drill quality. They've been dusty. Um... And, but these look really excellent. And so I'm happy to see that. 
So we've got some light gray. 27 colors is quite a bit for a 30 by 40. Some light brown mauve, brown mustard, navy blue, more mauve, some peach, some tans, brown, brick, more tan, a little bit of blue, light brown, and a few colors of green, beige, gray, red, and some more browns and black. And those are the colors that are gonna go into that frog. So less greens than I thought, but there really isn't that much of the frog that actually shows if you look at it. So I guess you don't need all that much green because basically what, what you're seeing is her beautiful evening gown that she's wearing. Um, there's more of what you see of her. I really wanna do these ones, they're cute. They're cute, in a 30 by 40 I can get done in a day if I work hard, if I work all day. But I'll need to flatten these out, so these will take a couple of days under the mattress to totally flatten out before I'll wanna work on them anyway. So I'll put them away for now and probably forget about them and they'll get put on the, you know, you know how that goes. If you, anybody else has a stash, and I think all of us who diamond paint have stashes, kind of things kind of tend to pile up and, and get pushed to the bottom and you forget about them until you're looking through and then you say, oh yeah, that's right, I have that. All right, so now this is a really nice canvas and I'm very happy to see that because this is a special and this is something that's not really my style. It's pretty flamboyant, but I kind of loved it when I saw it. It's a clock. Yes, it's another clock. So I'm gonna have, I don't know how many clocks now, probably, I think this is my third clock that I've gotten. So you have your movement with your hands is in this little box, which you know what, you could use this box. This box would be good for storing something in after you're finished. I'm so weird, I love boxes. Your toolkit comes with tweezers and it is a special drill canvas. So the numbers on the clock are not diamond painted at all and the back of the clock is not diamond painted at all. That's just gonna stay how it is. But the peacock and all the feathers all around and hanging down are what you're going to diamond paint on this. And there are 12 different drill types. And this one is listed as 35 by 45 centimeters. And someone had made the suggestion because I was thinking, how am I going to mount this on the wall? You know, so that... Um, because you got the clock mechanism that has to go behind it. So someone had made the very brilliant suggestion of getting a pre-wrapped uh, piece of canvas and putting it on the canvas and then just putting the, um, the motion, the clock motion behind that canvas. And that's a really good idea. So that's probably what I'll definitely do with this one because I think that that's a good, the other one I'm not sure because it was round. I'm not sure how I would do that. But this one being that it's rectangular, I think I might have an easier time finding a canvas that I'm able to do that with. Ooh, this one has got some really special drills in it. So let's take a look at them. So starting out, we just have that beautiful, brilliant blue, yellow, a lot of this green. So all of those leaves are gonna be this really pretty kind of leaf green, some Kelly green. Then we've got some orange ABs, and then we have some crystal, these are weird, these are, um, they're not, oh yeah, they are. They're faceted top iridescent clear crystals, some larger faceted top iridescent teardrops, and some orange iridescent globes. Then in this bag, we've got some beautiful uh, slivers, clear iridescent slivers, and then these are really neat. These are a teardrop shape, um, but there's this brilliant blue color with these like bubble ridges on them. Aren't those beautiful? I think those are just gonna shine and look so pretty on this clock. This is one I'm anxious to do. So this is gonna go under the bed immediately to get flattened because 
Well, I suppose since you're going to mount it onto something, you wouldn't have to necessarily worry about getting every wrinkle out of it. But still, it's a little difficult to work on things when they're not flat. So this one's going to go right under the mattress so I can get it flattened so I can work on it very soon. i set that off to that side over there just because I want to keep it in mind. All right, so we've just got a few more things in the bag. I was thinking about pausing and doing another video, but we've only got a few more things in here, so we might as well just run it through and keep going. All right, this next thing is another something a little bit different. And I have worked with uh, cross-stitch on wood in the past. Um, I bought some things from a company called Wonderland Ukraine um, from their shop on Etsy. And I found these on Fancel's site. And I thought that these were just so interesting and cool. Um, they are keychains. So you have uh, the keychain with the ring is in this bag here. And then you have these wooden discs that have the pre-drilled holes in them that you cross stitch through and came with pretty large, you know, tapestry type needles and um, your different types of floss. The thing that it did not come with, which I'm a little bit, a little bit uh, nervous about is it didn't come with any sort of pattern or instruction on what goes where. So it must be a little bit of creativity and you just do whatever you want to, which I am not good at. I'd really, really rather have them tell me what color goes where, but I suppose that I need to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and um, be a little bit more creative. So I'm definitely gonna do these because I think it's a super cool idea. I really like the idea of the um, of these wooden uh, keychains. They're a little bit big, but who cares? They'd be cool. They'd be cool to even hang like we have camper keys that we don't really you know keep the keys in our in our wallets or whatever. It just hangs on a separate keychain. We have cottage keys or something like that that you just kept. Um, you know, hanging on a hook in your house. Heck, you could even use those for coasters. Why not? But you wouldn't have to put the keychain in them. You could use them for coasters. That'd be a good idea. I might do that too. So that is just a different little craft that I thought I would give a try. Give it a try. And then this is another little craft that I thought I would give it a try. This is just another something new to diamond paint. Um, that I found on the site. I don't know, kids, a couple years ago, these were all the big thing. Um, these, this is a fidget spinner. So you just, you hold it and you spin it and it's just, I don't know, kids loved them a couple years ago. But this one is Mickey and Minnie on this fidget spinner, but you diamond paint them. So both sides get diamond painted. This is just like clear, cl clear plastic and both sides get diamond painted and I can imagine that once you put the drills on this thing and it's all sparkly when you spin it that's gonna look so cool don't you think I think it's gonna look really neat when to look at when you when you uh, spin it once all these crystal drills are on there so let's take a look at what our drills are that it comes with it might be a little little difficult to drill it just because of the way it sits but they're, it's pretty small, and so it, you wouldn't have to do it for, you know, it wouldn't take you all that long. So, of course, you have red, black, and, and clear, because that's your Mickey and Minnie colors. Then you have these big black resin drills, and then these clear heart-shaped drills, and a little bit bigger clear drills. And that's also basically just Mickey Minnie colors, black, white, and red, or not white, but clear in this case. Black, clear, and red. And I think that's gonna be so cool. I think it's gonna be really cool when it's done. Um, so I got that for my granddaughters, of course. And because it was just something different, I had never seen those before. I had never seen anyone do them. Um, so I'll show it to you when it's finished. They had different ones other than Mickey and Minnie. They had all different kinds. I'll give it, I'll show it to you when it's finished so you can see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be really neat. That's going to be a project I want to work on right away, too. So I'm going to set that off to the side, too. All right. 
All right, this is a weird, this is a weird, I wonder what this is. Hmm, I don't remember what else I ordered that was different. Let's get in here and see what it could be. It appears to be a diamond painting. It is a diamond painting. Have you ever seen a diamond painting that came in paper? Huh, I haven't. Interesting. Um, this is not what was advertised. Okay, I don't know why I got this. It was advertised as a full drill. And it's a... Uh, uh, dollar but it's not full drill it's just a partial and it's just a regular drill partial and it's pretty silly so that was a miss you know i have lots of hits but i definitely have misses so this one was a miss oh well it was only a couple bucks i'm not gonna sweat about it sweat about it too much i'm probably the only person who ever bought that <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about the things I order, but if it had been full drill, I thought it, I thought it could be kind of cool looking, but it isn't. All right, getting in here, let's see what we have here. This one is another special drill, and this is, of course, another special drill rooster, because of course, if I find a rooster diamond painting, doesn't matter what it is, I'm gonna have to have it. And this actually has a lot more drillable area than what it looks like. It's a 30 by 30, has 14 drill types, and there is a lot, a little bit of background showing, but you can see there's a lot of drill area. So you're actually gonna be drilling a significant portion of this. And I like it that it has like its own little like pre-made frame around it. I think that's gonna look really neat. I like him, I like him a lot. So you know Angie the Crazy Chicken Lady is gonna have to buy up any chicken diamond painting that there is out there. And there are a lot of them, believe me. I find new ones all the time. I've got some in my shopping cart right now. So um, let's take a look at what kind of drills are gonna go on him. Maybe I'll hang him out in the chicken coop. Let the chickens have something blingy to look at. They might like that. Or on the chicken coop because it has eaves that come, you know, over the sides. So it definitely wouldn't, wouldn't get beaten up by the weather too badly. And I could just hang it out there for the summertime. Pink. Bright red. Orange yellow, green, darker green, teal, lavender, and blue are our regular crystals. And then we've got these light pink marquees. We've got some faceted iridescent marquees, some gold marquees, some teardrop dome shaped iridescent coated, and then a bunch of these slivers. I love these long, thin slivers. I love all of these special shaped diamond paintings because you they always give you so many extra and I just love having all of these extra uh, special shaped things um, to do fun little projects with. Uh, decorating different things with the little girls. You know, I use them, you know, we'll make just make little pictures on cardboard um, backgrounds and just glue the iridescent, or not iridescent, the various um, special shaped ones that I've had left over. Just glue them on there and make different patterns. It's fun. So I really like having the special shapes when they have different and unique drill shapes and sizes. So that is my little chicken guy. Rooster. He's a rooster ange. All right. And last, but not, oh, no, not last. Oh, apparently I ordered a third mirror. Oh, this one's a little bit different even still. I like this one too. So this is going to be the same as those first two mirrors with the exception of the design is a little bit different. 
so that you're gonna do like the petal rose embroidery. So that's gonna stick out a little bit more on the back. I don't think that would be a big deal though. Um, but there's another one of those. And our last but definitely not least diamond painting is another wreath. So I thought I had only ordered the one, but apparently I ordered two. So let's see what this one is. I will try to link all of these items in the description. I had a problem last time because, oh, it's not really a wreath wreath. It's more of just a, it's not really wreath shaped, is it? So this is a, a flag with some red, white, and blue flowers and a bow. Still kind of cool. Kind of be nice to hang on your door for, you know, 4th of July or Memorial Day or Labor Day or something like that. So that's still pretty cool. And we'll take a look at the drills. But anyway, what I was saying was I had a hard time. My last big order that I did, you're only allowed 5,000 characters in the description field. And each link is about 100 characters. So if you have too many items that you're trying to link in the description, um, it doesn't, you're not able to, you run out of characters. And that's what happened to me in my last um, kind of long unbagging that I did. I wasn't able to link each item individually. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to on this video either. If I can't link each item individually, if you see something that you would like the link to, just pop me a quick comment and I am more than happy to get you the link. It, usually I can get back to you within the day. A uh, couple, sometimes it might take me a, a, a day or two, but usually I can get back to people right within the day. So with this, we have pink, red, red, blue, and lavender, which is odd. I don't know where that would go in there. Then we have white ABs, orange, green, black, blue, and then we have silver stars and some gold buttons, or yellow buttons, those are not really gold. And that is what goes into this American flag uh, decoration, and I like it. I think it'll be a, that'll be a nice little gift. I might give that one to my mother-in-law to do too. She likes to decorate for the holidays, so that might be something that she enjoys doing, and she likes these special projects. So that might be one that, um, that she would enjoy doing. So that's all I have for you today. That was my order from Fan Cells. And like I said, that was the last of my kind of big orders that I had out there. Um, if you have any questions or comments or you'd like a link to something, just let me know in the comment section and I'll get it to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, that said, thank you for being here with me and subscribing and watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you guys have a great week and a great night, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.